Hey, it's Mark with Noble Notary. Today, I'm going to talk about nationwide title companies uh, versus local title companies or smaller title companies. I call mom and pop title companies. The difference is and why it's important to know that. So, <clears throat> all right, let's start with nationwide title companies. Your nationwide title companies, um, there's a lot of them that come to mind. Fidelity National Title Group, um, one such. First American and... Um, Service Link technically is nationwide title company. Title 365 is a title company uh, that is nationwide. So these types of companies, um, marketing directly to them to try to use their to, to try to offer your services isn't going to work very well. It's probably something you you should put that on the back burner and more focus on your local mom and pop type title companies, the ones that aren't nationwide branding. Uh, those are the most likely ones to be receptive to your offer and to be wanting to work with you. The reason is most of these nationwide title companies, one, they either have an in-house signing service like Title 365, uh, who used to be called Zome. They have their own database that they run. Of course, you can get on that network, but they're not going to hire an independent notary and then some other ones like first american they already are um <clears throat> associated inside snapdoc so they are handling all of their own notary signings through the snapdocs platform so uh, again not going to be very effective to try to market to uh title title agents or title and escrow um agents inside their um nationwide title company because they kind of already have means to deal with that they kind of already have a protocol there is some ways that you can acquire them basically through reputation and good service i'll give you an example uh there is um a nationwide title company out of tampa um called vantage point title and um i was working with one of their well, customers uh via a signing service actually and um, what happened was this was a property investor and he was frequently using them, frequently buying properties, flipping houses. And uh, he got to really like us and our service and kept going back to the title company, Vantage Point, and saying, listen, you got to only hire these people. I only want to work with them. They're, they're reliable. They're professional. I have a good relationship with them. So that became such that um, Vantage Point circumvented the the signing service because the signing service couldn't guarantee that they hire me every time. In fact, that signing service, I'm not going to mention their name, but they're on my poop list. Um, we don't really do anything for, and they probably don't really like me. But uh, that didn't change the fact that I de delivered superior service and results and relationships to the customer who ultimately was calling the shots. So what happened with Vantage Point is um, the closure who was regularly assigned to them got to realize, wait a minute, he's always, they always want him. It's always good work. It's always done. I'll use him directly. But then she realized, well, I can just use him directly for anything in that area because he's obviously re reliable so that was a foot in the door i got with a nationwide title company that usually you're not afforded but the opportunities do present themselves and in that particular case it just comes from delivering good service and uh you know having a good attitude trying to over deliver now the mom and pops again these are the ones that are most receptive these are your small local title companies um some some say to call them up, which I say is disruptive. Uh, some say to pop in, which I still say is disruptive. disruptive. Uh, we like to just send a cordial email. Usually they're pretty receptive to that uh, and let them know, uh, you know, how you can help them. And that is one of the big uh, the big misconceptions is you, you can't approach them thinking that you're, you know, what they've got that I need, you know, hey, I want you to use my notary services. You got to look at it like, how can I help them? How can I better their business? How can I add value to their business? And if you approach it from that standpoint, they're going to be way more welcoming of that uh, of that relationship. And that's all it really is, is just is just building another relationship. And as so you build these relationships, you accumulate a number of them over time that last years and years so if you're not in that in this business just to fly by night you will accumulate this book of business and uh really really grow your business uh, without any advertising uh without anything more than just doing what you do but doing it well so that's it for today now you know nationwide title companies don't start there start with the start with the local ones um and look at how you can benefit their business and, and relay that to them all right we'll see you on the next one